Currently, right now, next on Compass, a move to make it easier for consumers to pick their spuds. Sarah Fraser by to tell us what this is all about after the break. Sobeys in Atlantic Canada has introduced a new color-coded scheme in an attempt to market some Prince Edward Island potatoes. The idea is to make it easier for consumers to choose the right spud depending on what they want on their plates. Sarah Fraser reports. Green is for boiling, yellow is for roasting, red is for baking, and blue is for mashing. New color-coded plastic bags of potatoes have made their debut in Sobeys in Canada. Society is changing in general. I think, uh, you know, those meals are maybe not quite as easy to put together as they once were. And, and this is just a, hopefully a, a way to make it a little bit easier to plan that meal and, and uh, you know, put it all together. And, and you know, let's hope that uh, it helps up the volume of potatoes that we sell. Potato Packers W.P. Griffin saw the idea at a trade show last year in New Zealand. They're packing all the color-coded spuds for Sobeys in Atlantic Canada. They worked with the Culinary Institute of Canada to identify which local varieties are best for which uses. Most people's mothers know what to do, but the younger generation, they really think a potato is potato, and, uh, and they're really meant for different uses, baking, boiling, mashing, and... Uh, so this concept is to try to make it easier for the newer generation and, uh, and probably the, and the new people to Canada also that aren't as familiar with potatoes to try to find out which is the best one. At $4.49, the five-pound bags of potatoes are about a dollar more per bag. What do consumers think? Well, I think it's a good idea. I, I think that uh, people are looking for some sort of speciality in, in everything, and, and potatoes are just another item. The new color coding program for potatoes is being used in stores across Canada, and Sobe says in the first month, sales have been going well. Sarah Fraser, CBC News, Charlottetown.